The Kardashians have seen their fair amount of family drama, but in the last three seasons of the show, it's the oldest sisters that take center stage. The sisters started fighting in season three, continued in season four, and they are supposedly making up in season five. Fans of the show, who also have close sibling relationships, are calling out some of these scenes for being so triggering. During season three of The Kardashians, the trouble started when Kim Kardashian decided to work with major fashion brand Dolce & Gabbana. She took this opportunity just months after Courtney worked with the same brand during her wedding to Travis Barker. Fans believed they were starting to work it out. Then season four began with a cataclysmic explosion when both sisters heard what the other had expressed about them out of earshot. Courtney Kardashian Barker felt that Kim had capitalized off her wedding's aesthetic for personal gain, claiming that Kim wasn't happy for her on the big day itself. Kim retorted back that Courtney has changed into a different person. This resulted in shots being fired as Courtney called Kim a witch and a narcissist. Ouch. In season 5, episode 2, Kim said, I think there's like this huge misconception that Courtney and I hate each other. We really don't. Courtney puts their fights down to common sibling rivalry, she added. We're sisters. I think people forget. Before she clarified, I'm sure a lot of people have had crazy fights with their siblings. Maybe ours are more extreme. I'm not sure. I really don't know. It seems fans on the KUWTK Reddit wholly agree that when siblings fight, they really fight. One fan commented, As someone that just went on my sister's bachelorette trip this video is hella triggering El Mayo. As someone sitting at her sister's house right now, same. Another fan agreed. Psychologist Abigail Lev explained to Today. Feuds between sisters are different from those in a friendship and are much more intense. Lev said this is because they touch on deeper wounds from childhood, incorporating larger themes and patterns within the family. Courtney being the elder sister, yet Kim being the more high-profile one, may have led to Courtney feeling jealous and insecure. Suggested Leviticus because she explained this is due to the common occurrence that when a younger sibling is born older siblings feel they lose love and resources that were previously only theirs. One fan agrees with the fact siblings fight, but suggests that the ladies should be acting more demure. They shared. With siblings especially, after a certain age there are certain things you just don't do or say. You don't even disrespect your own close friends like that so spare me too. Just because we have a long close history, doesn't mean I'm your punching bag to deal with your wrath. They concluded. Kim Kardashian is reportedly looking forward to connecting with her new crush with the help of Kanye West's son, Saint. As fans will be aware, Kim Kardashian has a crush on England footballer Jude Bellingham, who also became a schemes model. Kim Kardashian and Kanye West share four children, North, Saint, Chicago, and Psalm. As fans will be aware, Kim Kardashian has a crush on England footballer Jude Bellingham, who also became a schemes model. Now, an insider shared with Life & Style that the beauty mogul is using her son Saint's penchant for soccer to get close to her crush. Kim's so thrilled to have Jude on board and is bragging about him to everybody, the tipster began. They also claim that the mother of four is sending hot pictures of him to her friends and sisters and saying having him as the face of her brand is going to take it to the next level. She's watching his videos on repeat and made a big jet over to Spain to watch him play last week the source continued. In addition to this, the source confirmed that Kim would mark her attendance at many of Jude's soccer matches. The season is only just getting started, and she's planning to show up at a lot of the games. With her son Saint there as the perfect excuse since he adores soccer they also revealed in conclusion. Kim Kardashian is reportedly getting insecure about how her body looks. Kim Kardashian shares a brood of four with former husband Kanye West. Kim Kardashian insecure about this after Kanye West pregnancy. Source. Photo. Kim Kardashian insecure about this after Kanye West pregnancy. Source. Kim Kardashian is reportedly getting insecure about how her body looks. Spilling the beans on the matter, an insider shared with life and style that the beauty mogul is getting obsessive about her cleavage. Kim's always been blessed when it comes to her cleavage. They also mentioned, but pregnancy definitely took a toll. After that she started obsessively worrying about them getting droopy and it's only gotten worse since she hit her 40s. The confidant claimed that the mother of four is taking measures to prevent her body from getting droopy and she sleeps in her bra most nights because she's convinced it will stop them from sagging. They even revealed, she has about 10 different special lotions and serums she applies morning and night to keep the skin as tight as possible. 
Her trainer has also given her a bunch of chest exercises to help keep her boobs perky, and she does them every time she works out. The insider also shared with the outlet. She takes it much further than that and gets facials done on her chest once a month, and she's had laser treatments on her chest, too. They remarked in conclusion of the topic. Spilling the beans on the matter, an insider shared with life and style that the beauty mogul is getting obsessive about her cleavage. Tennis has always had a way of transforming its stars into global icons, and few have reached the heights of Serena Williams. With 23 Grand Slam titles under her belt, she's not only earned a permanent spot in the Tennis Hall of Fame, but also captured the admiration of fans and celebrities alike, including none other than Kim Kardashian. Even after Serena hung up her rackets, her influence hasn't faded, and Kardashian is here to prove just why. The American media personality took to her Instagram on Friday and shared a picture of her latest makeup collection from Wynn. There are several makeup tools including a lip gloss and a lip liner. She also tagged the tennis star herself and the company. The story was also reshared by Williams herself on her account who captioned it. While many may ask why, the brand indeed has a Serena Williams connection to it. For the unversed, Williams launched the brand this year itself in April with 10 SKUs including matte lipsticks and tinted SPF. According to the former world number one, the goal is to build brand awareness for Wynn, whose tennis ball green products center around long wear and performance. Interestingly, she also launched a collection of lip glosses and lip liners under her Wynn Beauty brand just during the US Open this year to celebrate the 25 years of her first Grand Slam win. The tennis legend's association with fashion is not new and it was also witnessed when she launched the brand. Speaking about it, she said, you can be strong and beautiful at the same time. Continuing further, she added, most of the time, you only see these athletes when they're playing, and so they want to be able to present themselves the best way they can. But now it seems like the brand is receiving validation from outside the sports community as well, with the likes of Kardashian using it for herself. Interestingly, the bond between Williams and Kardashian is not new, and the internet personality has also made a special wish regarding the tennis star. The scheme's mogul captured headlines for her picture in 2023 when she was seen walking on the tennis court holding a racket in her hand. This quickly garnered the attention of several, including Serena Williams who jokingly suggested, literally not how you hold a racket. Clearly I have to give you lessons all. However, the was quick to respond to the tennis legend's comment. Responding to Williams, Kardashian said, First of all, I was walking to the other side. Is there a special way you have to hold the racket just to walk from one side to the other side? Continuing further, she added, I was also out of bounds at that point. However, she did not fail to make a special wish from Williams. But I'm waiting. I would love lessons from the GOT Kardashian said with the latest post on Instagram. It feels like the duo are aiming to strengthen their bonds even more. It would be interesting to see if Kim Kardashian would engage herself more with the brand of Serena Williams going forward.